what it do, what it do, what it do. What's up, guys? If y'all sound, sound a little funny, man. Let's go pull this mask off. There we go. What's up, guys? Uh, shot this side here. Well, shot a third, a half of the side. As you can see, the white turned out a little pretty good, man. There you go, white Russell. Now, this Russell up here is a different one. This here is the Russ Olam two times the Ultra Cobra. This is the ultimate high gloss. But today, I can't exactly wet it exactly like I want to. I just got a good coverage and I wetted it some, as you can see. You can see me in it. Hope you guys can see me in there. Yeah, well, you can see me some, see my reflections there in here. So it's got some glow, a lot of gloss to it. But the thing is, I can't wet it as quite as good as I want to wet it. Because the wind is up here. But uh, this here is actually the Russ Olam Ultimate High Gloss. It's a little different from the other one. which is This one here is a double cover also. But this one here actually costs more. This one here costs, I think it was $4.32 or $0.38. Cents, somewhere in that neighborhood from Walmart. And um, I'll hit you, hit you guys with another video. I think I got the receipt in the car. But this is the two times ultra high gloss. Ultimate, I mean, ultimate high gloss. <laughs> um, this one here, high gloss white. Um, this is the, supposed to be the better one right here. Uh, it's supposed to be better than the uh, regular high gloss about in the white. But like I said, it cost four dollars and thirty-two cents, thirty-eight cents, or something like. That. I got my lights all taped up right there, as you can see. I know some people pull them out. You know, I ain't going through all that trouble. I just tape them up. I ain't got time for the bugs and all that stuff hanging out. I just take the light up. That's all you gotta do. That's where we always done it. We always take them up. Just tape them up. You still you won't have to pull the light out. Just, just tape them up, man. That's all you gotta do. And um, yeah, this is the ultimate high gloss. Let me show you guys. I'm going with white. Well, that white looks good with them black rims. I'm going with white all the way, man. That's the color. And it's easy to paint. As you can see, it doesn't even show no defects like that. I don't know if I'm going to do the bumps and all. I think I'm all right. I got to clean these off real good and everything. They gotta be sanded all down here. Um, got a little sanding work to do to those. So, um, before I really hit it off, you know, so that's cause it's got trash, got to be sanded. That chrome, see there? That chrome got to be sanded good. Now, I may paint them. I'm thinking about painting the bumper cover and all right here. All that stuff gotta be cleaned off really good though, before I even think about painting them. Plus, uh, it's gonna, um, I'm gonna need more paint. They really got to be stripped. I mean, probably going to have to sand them some and all that good stuff. I think I'm going to go and do away with the chrome bump stuff. I think I'm going to paint the whole bumpers in all white. Front bumper and back bumper. I'm going to do everything white. I think, you know, we getting into more paint when you do that. You know, that's why I said I think, you know. <laughs> I, I, I have to say it again, guys. I think, you now. So you get into more paint. And like I said, I'm trying to save money. You know, I ain't trying to put a whole lot in this truck. I'm just trying to make it look decent, you know. So, uh, yeah, that white is really where it's at, man. And um, that's what I'm going to go with. And you can't even tell those dents. See here? You hardly can see those dents with white. It's a dent here. You can't even tell it. It's a dent here, see? It's a dent here. You can't even hardly tell it, see? That white really has a lot of dents and dings. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm going with white. Because I ain't finna be pulling out uh, every little dent and ding on this truck, you know. Uh, this truck's too old, you know. 95, 94, 95, whatever model it is. Uh, I ain't finna be pulling a whole lot of dings out of it, you know. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I'm going to come back with another video. Show you guys the, <laughs> the receipt to the paint ultimate the ultimate hot gloss i ain't gonna paint no more today guys because the wind is up the wind is up so it's kind of 
until I stop it right here. The wind is up. I continue when the wind cease. Maybe today or maybe tomorrow. I think it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. I know I can do it. Um, whatever, but the wind and temperature is just right to wrap it up. As long as above 50 or 60 degrees, you can do it. It's better with a warmer temp. You know, um, it's better to do it when it's warm. But if you can't, you just got to get inside and take your time and paint it up there. You know, because it's going to turn cold. I've seen in the future forecast, it's supposed to get really cold here next week. Daytime highs only like 50. I can do it, you know, but I'm going to have to get inside. 50 degrees ain't too bad. Still can paint it. Just had to lie a little more drying time, though. That's all. That part dry, that lot is dry 10 or 15 minutes in between coats. That's what I think. But yeah, man, that white is going to be the way to go. And, um, Get you guys in close. But yeah, this two, this ultimate high gloss, it's gonna cost you a little more. But um, I said this one here is, is more glossier than the regular 2K 2X. I mean, it's, it's more glossier here than the ultimate kind. All right, I'm gonna bring you guys in close, show you what little I did wet. As you can see here, I couldn't wet it as much as I would like. You can't all tell it on white. I'm trying to cut it as many angles as I can. Let you guys see how it shine. See here. I ain't got it now. I'm gonna put come over with a clear. Okay. You can't all tell <laughs> too much on white. You know, it's hard to even get a real glimpse of the shine. So gotta cut it just right. White just doesn't show it. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to get a cut of angle. I can't show it. And then it's cloudy here, too. So it's kind of hard to really get a real I'll cut it from a distance, maybe. There you go. You guys get a glimpse of the shine. See here. I actually ain't wet it as much as I want to wet it yet. Like I said, because the wind is up. So, uh, <laughs> can't quite wet it as good as I want yet. But it's looking good, though. It's turned out to look pretty good. As we can see, not bad at all. And it's looking good with those black rims. See them? So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to mose over here. I think the receipt is in the bag where I went to Walmart and uh, the paint. Now, like I said, the paint, they're going to run you a little bit more than normal. So I can't even catch your shine on this white truck. Barely. White just doesn't show a lot of shine, you know. It's just white. <laughs> That's why I had dent so well because it doesn't really show a lot of shine. Okay. I thought I had the receipt in the bag. No. I just got some of the paint. Hold on. Paint right there. See, ultimate high gloss. I bought six cans. It came up about $30. Okay. I thought the receipt was in the bag. But anyway, it's like $4. Hold on. It's like $4 and... 32 cents, 438. Uh, this one here actually got some paint work need doing, like right up here. I can touch this up with a brush or something. See right there? They need a little touching up down to me, man. I can do rust all about a can. I took a, like a sponge brush. Touch that up, though. But yeah, that white turning out to look pretty good, man. Uh, that's the old color. That color always have faded a lot for some reason. That color looks, looked it all right. Looking at that white, it don't look too good now. <laughs> Especially where it looked. It's going to have a lot of sanding I'll be done. It's got orange peels. And had grease or something on it when I painted it before. See here? All that stuff got to be sanded down smooth. And um, it's a done deal. But yeah, that white is the way to go, man. Especially if you ain't planning on fixing every dent in it. 
them dark colors gonna show it all. And you don't want that. See that? See the white, she's looking good though. And when I wet it up there, I'm gonna come across it. I think I'm gonna come across it with a clear. I might, I might come across it with a clear. Okay. But like I said, I don't know, no matter how much you wet white, it's not gonna show real hard shine. I wet it up in here real good, as you can see. Yeah, you guys can see right there. Now I really wet it here. It's kind of working, working on down for you guys. You guys get an idea. I got to come behind it and wet it again. Like I said, I'm gonna come over with a. I may come over with a clear just to protect it. You know, I'm gonna try some clear. The clear actually prolong the paint too. Come over with some kind of that two times the clear. You can get that at Walmart also, guys. The um two times the clear like this. It's got a clear top on it. So I'm gonna try the two times the clear. And not that it ain't enough shine, it's just I'm gonna clear it because the clear also protects the paint. You know. So you want it to last as long as possible because these cans of paint cost four dollars and thirty something cents. A can, you know, <laughs> so you probably could paint the whole truck for, um, I said at least under a hundred dollars. Do it good, it'll be around a hundred dollars, something like that, man. It's gonna cost a hundred dollars because you want to do it, you want to cover it good, you know. Don't want a half step with it. So, all said and done, it's gonna be a hundred, you know, it might be a buck twenty five with everything, but it's a whole lot cheaper than then buying original paint and spending seven hundred dollars on original paint. So $125, you still saving a lot of money. And plus that white is really looking good. It looks good up against them black rims, man. That's what it does. And uh, like I said, I think I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do the chrome bumpers or whatever. But um we'll see. But there you go, man. It's turning out to look pretty good, man. I'm impressed. I'm not even gonna run no scrape or nothing on it. I want it just plain white. I'm gonna put some decals here, like uh Four by four decals. I think I'm gonna put on the side right here. The four by four decals. I ordered them on Amazon for uh, I think it's fourteen dollars. Put right there, like red and black four by four decals. And yeah, they got red and black. And so it's gonna look pretty good, man. Oh, uh, might just leave it solid white. Don't put nothing on it. Don't know yet. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I'm going to get off here, man, because i got a little cleaning up to do behind myself. You guys take care, man. I'll hit y'all on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.